Okay, y'all, I got a really cool book to share with you now. It's called Mouse Guard Coloring Book by David Peterson. It is approximately 10 by 10, so about the size of your Johanna Basford books. It has got vanilla colored paper at about 110 pound stock. It is two-sided pages, unfortunately. But the artwork in it is really incredible, and I think you'll agree. It's really, really lovely. I really like it. That's why I bought the book. But come to find out, this is a whole card play thing. Cosplay, I don't know if that's what they call it, but there's a big history behind this whole Mars Guard stuff. David Peterson graduated from Eastern Michigan with a BFA in Fine Arts. Um, my best friend Kathleen, who is in the men here, her son actually is friends with the gentleman that uh, published this, or did the artwork in it. Him and her son are very good friends, as they are both comic illustrators. So that's kind of cool. It's a small world. It was funny, when I showed Kathleen this book, she's like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know, David. He's friends with Neil. I'm like, you're kidding. He's fabulously talented. Isn't this cool? You got toadstools. You got mice. You got birds. I mean, it's Hannah Carzon, except for a little darker, right? Bees. Foliage. Floral. Fabulous. All kinds of critters. A lot of shadings done for you already. If any of you have this book and have done artwork in it, please, please, please share with us. I've only seen one picture done from this book, and it was lovely, but I would love to see more. And I hope to color in it. I th I'm sure I will. I should commit. If I don't color in this within the next 60 days, I'll rack it off. How's that? Speaking of racks, I promise I'll get that posted. I promise. Today or tomorrow, it will be posted. Just don't know what to give y'all. Y'all have so many different books already. When I ask you for ideas, you don't speak up. How's this? Complete Homes on a Tortoise. See, kind of like Hannah's book. Snails with houses on it. Tortoises with houses on it. Kinds of little mice. Squirrel. I don't know if they're battling each other. Or... Yep, apparently. Look. There's a sad little guy. Ooh. Underwater scenes. A little bit something for everybody in this book. It's perfect. Bees carrying the king's train. How awesome is that? Look at this. Even the snake is in there. I don't know what the snake eats. If the mouse is riding the snake, what does the snake eat? Pretty flowers all around. Oh, maybe he eats eggs. Or maybe he's thinking about eating the snake or the mouse. I don't know. Anyway, these pictures would be very easy to tear out. You are going to color into the gutter a little bit, but... It feels like it would come out fairly easily. It almost feels like it's uh, perforated. I don't believe it is, but it, from the feel of the bottom of this, it would come out fairly easy. There's Piper. They have names, see? Omera, Celadine, Linnea. Very cool book. Don't y'all think? Here you got their crest, the ram, the toad, the heron, the serpent, fish, duck, and here's Mouse Piper, listener. Piper's the listener. That's the hardest job of all. Another underwater scene, snake scene, castle, something for everybody, floral, feathers, how amazing. Pine cones. Winter.
a really, really cool book. Here's a mouse guard's dormitory or whatever from above. Looks like the gathering area or the study. Anyway, really unique. David Peterson, Eastern Michigan. He's three-time Eisner Award winner and two Harvey Awards for the work on the Mouse Guard series. Anyway, very cool book. Has quite a long history. Check it out. Thanks, guys.